So there are three main ideas that provide like foundational corners of my uh, teaching approach or my pedagogy. And I tried to figure out like how can I present these three so that they're like, I don't know, linked together or first there's this one, this one's most important, like, but they don't, they're, they're all kind of separate. So I've decided to make them into a triangle. You will find that I'm incredibly visual and I like to draw lots of pictures. So the first piece of the course that I think is important for you to know is that I believe relevant, I knew I'd get there, I believe that the course material is like ridiculously relevant to your life. And that, I don't want to teach you things that aren't important. Like if this is material that isn't significant, I like why would I bother spending time on it? There's a population of y'all out there who are headed into healthcare. For you, Every single day, every single detail is supremely relevant because it is um, foundational content for anatomy, physio, and microbiology. And those are classes that you are up against next after you get through chemistry and general bio. And I'm telling you right now, those classes are not for the weak at heart. They provide, if you're going into healthcare, this class is relevant because healthcare is about taking care of human bodies, and humans are alive, hopefully, and um, so learning about life will help you learn about humans. Those of you who are not going into healthcare, I think that a general biology, like this might be the only science class you end up with. It might be that this is the only biology class you ever take in your career, and so to me, the stakes are pretty high. Like I want to make sure that you come out of it with some skills to participate in very important conversations that are going to be happening around the world um, like tomorrow. Your ability to think about the process of science and to understand foundational concepts in biology will help you be a, a, a a meaningful contributor to those conversations, and I want your brain working when we are having those conversations. Um, I think that we're going to have lots of those conversations. Okay, so everything that I'm presenting to you, my hope is that it is relevant. Um, you can't learn anything unless you are actively engaged with the material. So I, a foundational piece of my approach is to encourage active learning. And I'm going to spend the whole next, that says learning, I'm going to spend the whole next piece talking about the biggest thing I do, which is flip the class to promote active learning. Um, I basically buy us a whole bunch of time. I double the amount of time that I get to spend with you because of the flipped pedagogy. But what that means is that I'm constantly going to be asking you to engage with the material in an active and present way. That is um, what can be uncomfortable sometimes. I expect you to sit with people in lecture and lab and sometimes sit with new people in lecture and lab. I expect you to talk to each other. I expect you to talk to me. Um, I expect you to do things that sometimes you're going to be like, dude, really? I have to get up and act like a ribosome? And I will say to you, yes, you do. And most of the time my students come out of activities like that going, wow, you know, I thought that was pretty cheesy at first, but sure, I mean, I can give it to you. That, that, that might have been a little bit helpful. So um, I do a lot to give us time to get you involved because you won't learn if you're just sitting there. And the last thing that sort of is like this foundational pillar in my world, and like not just in my classroom, it's in my household. I have two small humans that I am raising, and dude, we talk about this like constantly. Um, we talk about the growth mindset. And 
this is something that I don't have control over. It's something that you, are, you have control over. The control that I have is that I provide you with lots of opportunities to have a growth mindset. And I'll spend some, like we'll talk about it more, but I want to introduce this idea. Um, there's two ways that, well, obviously there's jillions of ways you can look at things in life, but there's the fixed mindset and there's the growth mindset. And growth mindsets are, um, they help you be more successful. A human with a growth mindset looks at challenge as a challenge, looks at failure as a challenge, and when faced with something difficult, embraces it and says, hmm, I wonder how I can um, do this better. A person with a fixed mindset will look at a challenge and go, oh, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm, um, I, I don't have enough time to do this. I am, um, I am not a good enough problem solver. I didn't have enough background. Um, I didn't read enough as a kid, whatever. Like, they're, like a fixed mindset comes up with a, an excuse for why the failure happened instead of looking at it as an, an opportunity to learn. The cool thing is people with growth mindsets get better grades, and I know grades are important to you. People with fixed mindsets can change their mindsets, and that might be the coolest thing about this, and that's why I actually spend a significant amount of time talking about it, because it's something you can affect. I have a kid with a growth mindset and one with a fixed mindset, and it's amazing to look at these two humans who are both really bright kids. They've got good brains in their heads, and yet one of them, as the second he struggles, he draws the conclusion that he's dumb, which is like, I mean, that's just freaking heartbreaking to watch your kid do this. I watch my students do it too, and it's, it, it may not break my heart quite as uh, painfully as watching my own spawn uh, call himself dumb, um, but it, it's pretty, it's, a, it's something you can change. So thinking about your mindset and thinking about how you approach learning, I think, um, it's, you can do better in my class if you have a growth mindset. Okay, so flipping. Oh, this is so cool because the flip actually, um, and I'll explain it in a second, the flip actually lets me have more time with you to talk about things like growth mindset and to engage in things like active learning and to have this umbrella of relevance over the whole thing because I have more time thanks to flipping it up. So let's go find out what flipping is.